Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your weekly love reading for January 8th through January 14th. Now, I have already done a general reading and you will find that one um, linked at the end of this video. This is not a private reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only gonna shuffle it for a moment. And I do apologize, I do have a little bit of a cold, so my voice may be a little bit off. This is intended to be a love rating. There we go. I have to put my name down here because if I don't, somebody will surely think my video is theirs and I don't want them to think that. So anyhow, um, it appears that you could be receiving some communication this week. You might be receiving some communication from somebody that you've blocked. Okay, and maybe you block them on social media or on the internet, but they're going to find the way, you know, they're going to find the way because they want to talk to you. I mean, that could certainly be the case. Perhaps there's been some arguing in the past or there's been some kind of, you know, controlling or manipulation and they may want to change that. You know, they, they want to make an effort now. It appears that um, there was some deceit. There was some kind of um, betrayal. And, and now they're they're really contemplating, you know, oh boy, what am I going to do now? How can I get through this? They, they, they felt like um, they've taken the time to think about it, put it that way. They've taken the time to think about it, and um, perhaps they, they thought the best approach was to release, but now they're, they're thinking about it again, you know, they're taking a second look. Um, yeah, and maybe they want to offer you a new security, a new stability, they, they are ready to put their guard down, they're ready to let their defenses down and they may be communicating with you. Now you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius um, and it just feels like you know they had let go but they're they're rethinking, they're rethinking the whole deal. I mean I'm, and I'm sure this is not for everybody. It feels like something ended that it, now somebody might want a second chance and I just have to throw that out there. Um, but it appears like it appears that they've been blocked. You know, they've been blocked, and they're they're going to have a hard time getting a hold of you. Maybe they've decided they're going to they want to compromise. You know, what I mean, they want to work on this. I do see that you're being offered a new stability. You know, you're being offered it a new stability. They know what they now now they realize that. Um, they're not in control. Probably they're thinking, you know, this is a two-way street. They originally thought, you know, that that if things would be better, the grass would be greener on the other side. You know, with that tower card, they figured, oh yeah, I just I just want this to be over with. I'm going to let this go. They let it go, and now they're like, oh shit, I want to build this foundation back up again. I want to build it back. How can I do this? Oh, I guess I'm going to have to compromise. You know, I'm going to have to compromise. I really want to be together with this person. So, you know, I think I'm going to have to um, make a change. We're going to clarify. We are going to clarify this Three of Pentacles. What is this Three of Pentacles here for? Ah, yeah, there's been some kind of breakup. There has. There's been some kind of breakup, and there's been a blockage for sure. Either you've blocked somebody or they've blocked you. There's been a blockage, and somebody has decided that, you know, they're confused. They're confused, and now they've, got, they've gained the insight that they need to gain. You know, they've gained some insight that they didn't have. They've realized that, oh, no, maybe I made the wrong decision. What's this Seven of Cups? Yeah, it was an illusion. It was. They were fear. They had fears. They had fears of attachment. They had fears of uh, commitment. 
Okay, I think they had fears of commitment, so they, you know, they they didn't, they weren't ready. They weren't ready to. Be true, be true to you, all right? They weren't ready to be true to you. But I think now, now they've, they've faced their fear. They realize, they faced their fear. They realize that that was just an illusion and they're ready, they're ready. I think there was something going on. There was something going on inside of them that was allowing the, the fear to take over. And I think now, they want to they want to compromise they want to cooperate and they want to communicate with you even though they've been blocked what's this ace of pentacles over here okay the cards don't even want to shuffle aha yeah they want a new start they want a new start. Somebody wants a new start with you. They want, they've changed. They're going to come in. They're going to say, I've changed. They want to start a new chapter. It's like, they're, they're ready. They're like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I realize I made a mistake. It's all about you. It's all about love. I'm sorry. I just, I didn't know what I wanted. And now it feels like they're coming in and they're like, I want to start over. I want a new chance. I want to start over. I want to, I want to offer you the world here. <laughs> I think this, whoever this is that's coming into your life went through a period of confusion. They went through a period of illusion and they felt the fear of commitment. And I feel like the lack of communication, the blockage that was put on them made them realize, made them really think, this is what I want. Now, it could be you. It could be another person. I feel like there's been a, a uh, new realization. I want to start over. I want a fresh start. I'm ready for the new chapter. One more card. Then we're going to go with the Angel Romance card. Uh -huh. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to return. There's no doubt. There's somebody that wants to return to your life and start give you a wants a second chance. Somebody wants a check second chance, Virgo. And you may be receiving that communication this week. Ooh. Pay attention to the red flags. Ding, 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 ding. Definitely a red flag when somebody from the past wants to return. Um, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. They are. They are. They left you once. Have they really changed? Have they really changed? Do they realize how it impacted you? Do they realize, is, do they realize the consequences of their actions? Have they changed? Is it just an illusion? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Are they on the same journey as you? Is this person on the same journey as you? That's a question to ask. Is that part of the red flags? We're going to get one of these energy oracle cards and see what comes up. Oh, Taurus got this too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> card because I don't know them by heart. Not yet. Cornucopia. Wish fulfillment. 
Oh no. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. And you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and spirit is applauding all of your effort. Amazing. Perhaps this is what you want, you've been waiting for. This person to come back into your life. This person could be somebody you knew years ago. Or somebody recent. Because there's so many different scenarios. Either way. Wish fulfillment is on the horizon. And you have earned it. So this is what I have, Virgo. Talk to you later.